Hey church, Pastor Bob here, and in light of recent uh, activities both at the county level and the city level, I know it's generated a lot of questions around uh, when are we as a church going to open back up. So let me just clarify a couple things as I give you an update. Uh, first of all, from my perspective, the church has never closed down. Uh, what we're really talking about is when is the campus going to open back up? When is the sanctuary going to open for worship service? Uh, the church has, in fact, been uh, continuing in ministry, uh, lifting up the name of Jesus and uh, reaching out to meet needs in our community. In fact, I want to thank you for your faithful, generous giving that has enabled us to continue to serve our community in this way and uh, come alongside families and support them in these times and uh, continue to lift up the name of Jesus. So thank you so much for your faithful, generous giving. And uh, as I share with you kind of this update, uh, I really want to speak as well to uh, what can you do to help us? And the first thing I would say, you can help us by praying. I know many of you are, and just continue to pray for us, for the staff, the board, our ministry leaders. We're all working together uh, to get back to opening up the campus and having worship experiences here and ministries taking place here. In fact, I'm here in the lobby of the, of the church right now, and I can't wait to, uh, to greet you here and uh, for us to celebrate and worship God together in this place. So as you pray for us, recognize that in order for us to get back to uh, in-person worship experiences, for us to open up the campus in this way, it's going to involve a very detailed uh, plan. It's going to involve very, uh, very many steps that we're going to be uh, putting into place, some cleaning protocols, some strict guidelines that we'll have to abide by. So just understand and recognize that. It's not like we're just going to open the doors and flip on the light switches. Uh, so as you pray for us, just recognize that and then understand some things. Understand that um, we're going to have to have a reservation system uh, in order to accommodate folks and kind of control the number of people in the building. We're going to be adding worship experiences uh, in order to accommodate the folks that we hope will be coming. And so just know that this is going to take some planning and, uh, and preparation. We're working on those things and uh, we'll have that reservation system rolled out very soon. Uh, you'll be able to get information about it on our website, certainly our social media platforms. And uh, it'll involve just uh, reserving a, a place uh, in the worship service uh, at a particular time so we would know kind of how many people to expect at any given service. And then understand that at least initially, uh, we're not going to be able to provide Kids Quest Children's Ministry as a part of the opening of the campus. Uh, hopefully you can understand it's just a lot more involved, the things that we're going to need to cover there. So that'll come along a little bit later. Uh, but uh, at least initially, as we open up the campus, uh, we want to gather here and, and, um, and worship in that way. So that's why the, probably the Number one thing you can do beyond praying <laughs> is get connected uh, in a community group. Many of you already are. If you're not, we're going to be uh, giving some opportunities in the coming weeks for you to get connected in a community group. Some of you may just want to get together with two or three other families and create a house church experience. The reason this is important is we believe that uh, the first steps back toward gathering an in-person uh, worship experiences is going to go through these community groups, these house churches in fact, our children's ministry, the way that we're hoping to creatively meet the needs of families and children is through these environments, community groups and, uh, and these house churches. And so help us out in that way. Be open to taking this step and uh, it'll help us tremendously as we communicate and as we begin to congregate together in these worship experiences. And then finally, volunteer. Uh, there's going to be many new teams that will have to be established, certainly cleaning teams. Um, and so just know that uh, you can help us out in these ways. Be prepared as we roll out information on that, uh, how you can volunteer to serve uh, in these ways. And so as you pray for us, just know, I want to remind you in uh, Proverbs chapter 15, verse 22, the Bible says, um, the plans fail for lack of counsel, but with many advisors, uh, they succeed. And so just know as you pray for us, we're reaching out to medical professionals in the, in the community to help us think through these cleaning protocols and all that's going to be involved in, uh, in bringing folks back here into this place, opening up this sanctuary and this campus that we might worship together. We're looking forward to it. And when we have a date uh, specifically, certainly we'll be communicating that on our website. Uh, we'll communicate it through our social media platforms. We'll be sure and get that word out and let you know. And until we are able to meet again in this place, Know that we're praying for you. We're working really hard to make it happen. And we'll see you online. God bless you.